Good morning. My name is Christian Chase. The right to vote is a key component of our democracy. I'll be discussing how an election can be won either by the mobilization of voters or by the suppression of voters. Mobilization strengthens our democracy and supports the idea that every vote matters, where suppression accomplishes the opposite. Nobody will ever deprive the American people of their right to vote, except the American people themselves, and the only way they can do this is by not voting, once said Franklin D. Roosevelt. Our founding fathers didn't actually write in the Constitution that every American could vote. First in our democracy, only white wealthy men could vote, but through amendments that were added to the Constitution throughout the years, the right to vote was granted to all American citizens, regardless of race, gender, or religion. Now that everyone has the right to vote, the political parties of our nation had to find ways to get their own members to vote, which is called mobilization, and ways to get the other party's members not to vote, which is called suppression or disenfranchisement. Political mobilization is about getting voters to the polls using techniques that include the use of modern approaches, like social media, and also traditional methods, like door-to-door -door canvassing of neighborhoods, mass mailers, and phone banks to get out the vote. Political mobilization strengthens our democracy as it encourages more people to become involved with electoral politics by voting, volunteering on campaigns, and making financial contributions toward a candidate. Unlike political mobilization, which strengthens our democracy because it encourages voter participation, voter disenfranchisement weakens our democracy by setting up barriers that discourage citizens from exercising their right to vote. Voter disenfranchisement is shown throughout local, state, and federal elections in the form of voter suppression techniques, such as passing restrictive voter ID laws, purging voter rolls, limiting early voting, and shortening polling place hours. Voter ID laws are a prime example of modern day voter disenfranchisement. Formerly, voters did not need an ID to vote, but now an ID is required in the majority of states. These laws require voters to present a photo identification card at the polling place on election day. The predominant number of voters affected by these laws are minorities, the poor, and the homeless. Groups who's, who are not in favor of these laws claim that these laws prevent voter fraud, but study after study has proven that voter fraud is very rare. Instead of suppressing voters with voter ID laws and similar policies, Parties and candidates should seek to increase their vote total through innovative methods of mobilization, such as social media. In my opinion, the use of voter suppression techniques lessens the chance of every vote counting. However, when parties and candidates utilize mobilization techniques, they encourage the idea that every American citizen's vote counts and matters, which is the core of our democracy. Elections can be won either by the mobilization or suppression of voters. Mobilization is good for our democracy, while suppression is bad for it. Thank you.